<laughs> or something new over here. So our DC Designer Series has been really popular for years with the collectors. So they're really, um, you know, we really want to um, put impressive pieces out of top artists. So there's a Wonder Woman by Jenny Fasson. I think you saw all the covers. Yeah. We've been doing. So we matched the color palette and everything. As you can see, it's really muted um, and came out beautifully. The face is really nice. I think it's a great Wonder Woman piece. So Jim Lee does a classic Nightwing. Um, uh, this, he does it great. It's really, really nice. And this little trick we came up with is kind of cool with the clear <laughs> spinning around the uh, sticks that he has. What's cool about this is we actually did a Batman black and white statue. That's back in the seven inch size. So we blew it up and then went back in and resculpted it at this size. So it's got a lot more detail than the original ones. And now you, looks cool. And now you can see that there's, there's the zipper. Oh, there it is. People are always wondering how he gets that suit on. The answer has been revealed. Like, this is <laughs> a toy fair. So, yeah, the detail on these big statues is great. We're really able to, to do a lot of cool stuff. And speaking of details, one of my favorite things uh, to talk about... a new shirt. This yeah, is a new so costume. This is amazing. So this Batman is what actually got me back into reading comics. When Frank Miller came out with this stuff, yeah. I, I, I don't like to admit on camera, but I was a little la laxing in my comic book reading. <laughs> this Dark Knight thing came out, and I was like blew me away so angry. since I've been here I've wanted to do this statue and John Matthews and I finally got it done so here is a toy fair Nicely Frank Miller done. realized that the detail is just insane yeah so this is a traditional sculpt I mean a lot of the stuff you've seen has been digital and a lot of the industry is going that way but both these two were actually done by hand so this Frank Miller Batman and then the Libra Mayo Batman so all this stuff in here like master sculptor oh, Gene St. Jean did yeah. a really nice job he sculpted almost all of Lee's stuff but well, definitely sculpted all the statues at DC Collectibles over the years. So they have a really good partnership and they're like really good sync with each other. I love the cape. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, right? that cape looks cool. Yeah, yeah, it's really neat. It's just and I spin it around but they glued it to the Nope. <laughs> so that's, not, that's not spinning anywhere. Super cool. Uh, what, so uh, I guess we'll go. Another uh, figure that I really want to show you guys was this Batman 9 inch figure. What's cool about this guy is, well, first of all, he's nine inches tall. So it's the biggest action figure we've, we've made um, recently. And we're really excited to go into a larger scale. Because we can take like the level of detail you were just talking about mm -hmm. there. We can take that and bring it in here, but make it an action figure. Uh, so he's going to have, like, he's got, like, three different heads you can put on. Um, he's going to have four sets of hands. I don't oh, know if you can cool. see those batarangs, but he has all different, like, all different sets of batarangs that all yeah. for different missions. He's gonna have a gonna have a grappling gun that actually locks into the back of his belt. Oh, cool! And he's got this badass poseable cape thing. That's like, oh, po oh, wow! It's got a really heavy wire in it. So, oh, cool! So a figure at this size. We're still, uh, the, the bases are finally. By the way, we're still working out the details, but it will have a big pull because for a figure this size, it needs a big need support right. system. Um, and if this does as well as I'm hoping, you will see a lot more figures at this game. And we're having a lot of fun blowing through I love things. the shouting Batman. The yeah, well, well, let's put him on. Let's put him on. You like him the best. <laughs> ah, Martha. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good stuff. So DC Essentials are our standard size figures. You know, we've been doing a lot of these figures, as you know, for quite a while now. So you've got Harley, Nightwing. Got Wonder Woman and Cheetah. What I'd like to show you about oh, these Oh, I like two. Cheetah. Yeah, you don't see really a lot cool. of Cheetah. No, it's really cool. that um, What we're showing here, too, is we're actually now selling bases. Oh, not nice. so, Wow. Inventive. So, yeah, so they're, Makes sense. they're 10 bucks for two of them. Mm -hmm. um, and what's cool about these bases is... Uh, Oh, it's perfect. It's got the way they go on now. There's like a little latch. Okay. Where you basically just clip them on. And this is kind of neat because these, uh, these pieces are all screwed together. So if this ever starts feeling loose, you can just go in there and hit it with a little Phillips head screwdriver and tighten up all the bases. So, and these have been these have been up here for you know three days now and they haven't fallen down. So, you know, you can't hold a car up with them, but you know, they, they work pretty well for this size. People are always looking for bases to hold their figure. I know I right. am. Because all you the can time. do stuff like this with them, and oh, that we makes actually, sense. if you look at the shape of the base too, you can get them really close with each other. Oh, and we drill the pose. Yeah, we drilled a bunch of holes in them so you can actually reposition the, the posts. Or put two or three figures on him, because you can put as many posts, you know, you can put that many posts on him. That is cool. So Cyborg Superman and Supergirl are also coming out. You don't see enough of this guy. I think he's no. a great villain. Uh, but you just don't see him enough, so we're rolling him out. Thank you. Got Batgirl and the Joker. And then the newest one for the show over here is Red Hood. So he's made it here for Toy Fair. So there's the Essentials line uh, that we're showing for today. It makes sense to have it.
I like the background with the uh, Red Hood. Yeah, too many doesn't come in that. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's your Although, we've got a lot of people asking us, can you make any of these things? I was going to ask back there with the vat of uh, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, the big stuff. From oh, the my God. Yeah. Well, you know, we, if we got... If we got people if love people play keep sets. asking us, we maybe should make them People love... This looks cool. I mean, even just this thing by itself is pretty... Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All these things look like they belong. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Very 